In each half of the spinal cord, the white matter is divided into three parts called white columns or funiculi. The posterior white column is between the posterior median septum and the posterior horn. The lateral white column between the anterior and posterior horns. The anterior white column is located between the anterior median fissure and the anterior horn. The anterior white columns are joined together by the anterior white commissure. Each white column is made up of tracts, which are either ascending sensory or descending motor. The tracts are defined as collections of nerve fibers within the central nervous system which have same origin, course, and termination. Surrounding the great matter will indicate, with the yellow color, the proper fascicles, which is a group of short fibers, ascending and descending, and crossed and uncrossed, within the spinal cord. Now we will start drawing the ascending tracts using the green color. In the posterior white column, we have Fasciculus gracilis, placed parallel with the posterior median septum. Lateral to fasciculus gracilis, we have fasciculus cuneatus. These fasciculi are concerned with fine touch and conscious proprioception. Concerned with unconscious proprioception are the anterior and posterior spinocerebellar tracts. These tracts are placed at the periphery of lateral white column. Also concerned with unconscious proprioception, placed in the vicinity of the anterior part of anterior spinal cerebral tract, we have the spinal olivary tract. Medial to the anterior spinal cerebral tract, we have the lateral spinothalamic tract which carries pain and thermal sensations. Just anterior to the ventral gray horn, we have the anterior spinothalamic tract, which carries crude touch sensations. With the red color, we will draw the descending tracts. We have two types of descending tracts, pyramidal and extrapyramidal. The pyramidal tracts are concerned with voluntary motor activity. The pyramidal tracts are the lateral corticospinal tract, located medial to posterior spinal cerebral tract, and anterior corticospinal tract, located in the vicinity of the anterior median fissure. Finally, we will indicate the extra pyramidal tracts. These tracts are transmitting involuntary commands to the spinal cord. There are four major pathways. The rubrospinal tract, located anterior to the lateral corticospinal tract. The tectospinal tract, located anteromedial in the anterior white column. The vestibulospinal tract, located anterior to the anterior spinothalamic tract. And the reticulospinal tracts, including one that is called lateral reticulospinal tract and one that is called medial reticulospinal tract.